Today, I'm gonna to be recreating one of my favorite scenes of Obi-Wan from Attack of the Clones. Oh. Now, May the 4th is in five days, which means I have five days to make this edit happen. Hey, fellas, I'm gonna need the green screen painted blue. I don't care who does it, it just has to be done today. Good luck. All right, who wants to do it? All right. So the reason I have the guys painting the psych wall blue is because all the behind the scenes footage I've seen of this movie involve the actors on a blue screen. This might be because the blue spill looks a little bit more natural in the night sky versus green. Either way, let's get to it. So the scene I'm gonna be recreating is the one where Obi-Wan jumps onto the droid outside of Padme's window and then he has the ride of a lifetime past traffic in Coruscant. It looks like plate shots of Obi-Wan for the most part where the camera's not moving and all the camera work you're seeing is inside of the 3D software. It seems like it's gonna be a lot of shooting on blue screen, keying in After Effects, animating and building the 3D environment in Blender, and of course, compositing finally in After Effects. I think the best way to go about recreating Coruscant is using existing assets. Maybe by using some kit bash models that already exist, I can put together my own mini version of Coruscant. I'm probably gonna end the video with the droid blowing up and Obi-Wan falling to what you think is his death. This is gonna be so much fun, I'm looking forward to it. But also, how many shots is that? I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, 21, 22. I don't know if I can do 22 shots in five days. Well. I mean, four days, because after we shoot today, it'll be four days left. We'll see what I can do. Let's go. <laughs> so now I'm going to go through all the shots I'm recreating in the movie figuring out exactly what I need on the blue screen, what's gonna be done digitally, all of that good stuff. Here we go. It looks like we can have a light back here adding this blue paneling. Let's keep going. This shot is gonna be a ton of fun. I'm excited for this. If I can't practically do it because I don't have the strength to have both my arms up and grabbing it, maybe we do a digi double for this one. One thing I'm picking up on is that 90% of these shots involve me hanging on to a contraption above my head. So I wonder if we can have Nate build something for me. Hey Nate, do you mind building something for the Obi-Wan hanging shots? Yeah, I can do that. All right, that's looking good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You gonna paint it this time? In the meantime, I'm gonna get the rest of Obi-Wan's alpha together. Now the most important part. <gasps> My friend over at Theory Sabers was kind enough to send me Obi-Wan's lightsaber, which is exactly what I needed for this video. The build quality and the materials on this are insane. Now, unfortunately for this video, I just need the hilt of the lightsaber because it's gonna be basically strapped to my belt the entire time. Now that I got the outfit ready, it's time to start filming. All right, fellas. All right, you good to shoot? We're ready. Yep, we're ready. All right, let's do this. Hello there, may the focus be with you. So, I got Obi-Wan's lightsaber on my hilt. I didn't have a belt clip for it, so I went ahead and just used fishing wire to keep it together, and I feel like it looks pretty good. Look at that, no scratches. Quality build. We ended up using black duct tape, and I don't think anybody's gonna be able to tell. Okay. So I think the first shots we should capture are the medium shots. I wanna show you this idea, I have an idea. I'm thinking of taking the four MC pucks, putting them on two crossbarred arms for these, on top of the C-stand, and we spin it like a helicopter, and that way the lights are always changing. That sounds really cool. Yeah. yeah. Here, good, Caleb. So this is what we're lighting for. Shot eight. Back. That's cool. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so that was a crazy. Let's do one more fall run. All right, I gotta call it a day. So we gotta finish shooting tomorrow and then take the edit from there. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. Day two of filming this video. Getting my outfit on right now. 
Let's get back into it. My elbow's really hurting, so I feel like there's a scenario where we maybe jump into the edit, hope that my elbow feels a lot better in a day or two, and then we film the rest of the shots that involve moving in. We'll see. Family just got here. Daddy, stop! Close the door! There's a wasp right next to the door! Come on, Daddy. I was the elf. Daddy, it's you. Let me clear some stuff. Daddy, looks like Obi-Wan. Yeah, do I? Yeah. That's what I was going for. So right now we're setting up tracking markers because the next shots we're gonna need while I'm flying in the air, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of 3D movement going on and we wanna track that properly with the assets to bring into Blender. So let's go down. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that's so good. Wow, I got my mojo back. Come on, Moxie. Come on, Moxie. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can't stop. I got it. That is the last shot we're gonna need with this contraption. Now it's time to do the one of me free falling, and then all the shots will be jumping out the window. So you notice he's mostly underlit, rather yeah, warm tones like underneath. Really Amazing, yeah, just basically just do that. Leaf lower from underneath is gonna be this. Three, two, one, action. All right, all we have left are shots one to five. So I was hoping we could film everything by 11 o'clock today. It is now, one o'clock and we are not done shooting it, so we're gonna just work with what we have. Okay, it's time to take the video into the edit now. All right, that's the end of day two. I'm halfway done poorly modeling the droid and I keyed a shot and I tracked the shot. <laughs> I feel like I'm really behind. Day three, let's do this. So I left off modeling the droid. I'm not super happy with how it's going, but I'm gonna keep pressing on in the meantime, see what I can do. So I just finished my assassin droid. It's not perfect, I think it's gonna have to work. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> so I'm about to ask Quentin to do the music for this video, and he has no idea um, that I'm about to do that. So for this video, I need the music recreated from scratch, but I also need the sound design and the sound effects. Do you think that's something you could handle by Friday? Let's try it. My outfit was a lot more yellow. Uh, in the movie, he had more of a kind of a dark tan, so I used composite brush actually to change the color from kind of this yellowish tone to this dark tan. And for reference, here's his outfit, uh, a lot closer that way. I already have 13 shots on my plate. Yeah. I'm halfway done with the first shot, and I have two and a half days of editing. So I think I'll probably stick to the shots I have and not do jumping out the window. Doing well. Is that okay? <laughs> Spooky. Okay. I'm gonna clean it up so that it's a little bit less computery. Uh, no, I'm just running into a lot of issues like the brass instruments, it's not coming through. Something I was struggling with is trying to figure out how I was gonna handle all of these spaceships flying by. So I found that Production Crate actually has these low poly cars already set to a particle system. And I've already implemented some of these systems into my shot here. I just hit render on the background animation for the first VFX shot. And we are three days done and two to go. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to uh, go about this. Time to go back to where we were. One of the biggest mistakes I made while filming, I had the bar representing the assassin droid too wide. My hands were right about here while filming. In reality, they should be about here. And what that means is the droid is about 50% bigger than it should be. But I'm just gonna roll with it for the rest of the video. All right, so here's what it looks like before any color correcting or color grading, and here is after. What do you think? Wow. What do you think? How'd you, okay, wow. I'm like the droid where it's kind of like, man, but I'm like, there's so many shots to worry about. I mean, can, no, it's the lighting. On that's that. just the still picture of the droid, tracked with mocha into my hands, just, like, <laughs> just for reference so it's like you can see it. That's all you need. How's it going in here? It's going well. Getting a bunch of like spaceship sounds together off of Epidemic and just like uh, testing them all out in different areas. 
There's been so much wasted time today with all the different things that keep crashing. I really wanna make sure this goes out on May the 4th, so it's gotta be done. <laughs> Well, that's the end of day four. We have one day left and I have two shots complete. I don't know if I'm gonna get all the shots done. This is crazy. Just kidding. I'm gonna bring my backpack home and get some work done at the house. Try to get some shots done while the kids are sleeping tonight. Day five, we're gonna go until the video's done. So we might be here until Saturday morning, which, are you cool with that? Yeah, cool. we're, we're gonna be here till Saturday. <laughs> There's three check marks on there, but it really is six shots that I've completed. But regardless, I still have at least another time I have to get done, so. There's a few things I probably want to excite. The music by itself. Let's do it. That's so good. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you want to hire Quentin for audio, you can. <laughs> I'm about to do ADR for the scene. Uh, there's a few shots where Obi-Wan has some grunts and noises, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped smiling. Sorry, it's really hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. It's now 6.20 on Friday. There's no chance that I'm done with this before tomorrow morning. I am currently six shots complete. Blender just crashed and I think I lost about like 30 minutes of progress, which normally wouldn't be the end of the world, but it is also midnight right now, so. Okay, so good news, uh, Blender actually saved all that. So how's the video coming? I'm kind of at a point where I have to decide if I'm going to keep it the way I have it or finish the rest of the shots I set out for. It's 3 a.m. right now. If I give myself one hour per shot, I can get five more shots than I have eight done, that's 13. So I'm gonna commit to no more than one hour on every single shot. It is almost 9 a.m. and I have two last shots. I'm almost done with the second to last one. It's the one where I'm falling to the ground. Yeah, these shots have taken a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> After the next two shots, I will have finished 13 shots total, but I think only 12 make it to the final cut. This is rendering the audio reference for Quentin, so he can finalize the music and then we can watch the, the full thing. And just like that, the last five days of my life are complete. <laughs> Wait, time to go watch this thing. Finally, after five days of hard work and a very minimal amount of sleep, here are our results. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how Quentin did that. All the music you heard, Quentin put together in less than three days. You can see the difference between the shots that I spent a day on versus the shots I spent like an hour on. <laughs> I, I definitely thought I was gonna do some digi double work instead of just being on blue screen, so that definitely was a bit of a shocker for me. More than anything, this just makes me appreciate everything ILM was able to accomplish when they initially made this movie. I mean, most of these assets they're building from scratch, and obviously they didn't have the reference of the movie to make their shots like I did for my video here. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one. And I know you've probably wanted to see both scenes side by side, so here is a one-for-one -one comparison. Enjoy.